I'm compensating this Saturday, and I'm going to have a short episode, which is it's around 22, 23 minutes long. So I'm actually going to end it here, and when we launch, that that will launch us straight into the next episode. So, with that all said, let's not keep Gruce waiting, and let's accept his offer to help us out. Okay. Alright, hop in and I'll take care of the flinging. You just worry about the landing. With my machine, the woods are just a fling away. And just like that, Link has been in the air for two days for you guys, but a couple seconds for me. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pal Play Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we defeated the Imprisoned once again. And this episode, well, you guys can see for yourselves. Faron Woods are completely flooded. There's probably 150 to 200 feet of water here, by my estimates. I don't know, you guys may have a different opinion. And you can also see the reason why I I stalled and sang my way up the um, the Great Pit where we fought Demise with our Stamina Potion. Because we will not be needing it today in the slightest. So, let's go ahead and talk to Buka. See what's up. Because this is not normal. I mean, I understand ra the rainy season, but this it goes be on that. This is like four times the amount of water we've seen in the entire well oh there goes our potion but this is like four times the amount of water we've seen in any place but maybe the sand sea but anyway. Buka what do you got? Oh Q you you're that one from before. Come to think of it I've forgotten to ask your name it's been a long time we've known you for a long time and we, you never knew our name I see. Link, is it? Now there is an odd name. Q. Ah. What brings you to see me? This water, man. Q. It's good to see you again. Yes, things look a different, bit different from here, don't they? The water came gushing out of the base of the tree behind me and flooded the entire woods. I don't know what caused it, but I suppose it will clear, clear out the monster infestation. Q. So you won't hear me complaining. And there goes our potion. Please go away. Thank you. I hate that beeping. Last episode, I was swimming underneath the tree when it went out or something like that. And I thought I was drowning because it's just kind of a... It's kind of hectic music. Or not music, but it's hectic sound, sound effect. Now, we can chat with those other kickwees, but... I have a feeling that we're going to be doing a lot this episode, so let's go ahead and sw swim to the base of the great tree. But this is pretty cool. This is really neat. I love this mechanic. Well, not really a mechanic, but I love this part of the game. This is one of my favorites. Because look at this. If, this. if this forest was not flooded, we would be flying right now. We are, we're probably about, I don't know, 75 feet off the ground? Which we're about halfway under... Uh, halfway to the ground, so yeah, th the water's probably about 150 feet high. That is at this place. There are other places where it's probably like 200. But man, that that's deep water. That's really impressive. Now I could boost right now, but we're actually kind of running out of air for when we come into the tree. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spin. So this is really neat. I mean, obviously we have we probably have to drain the water somehow, but I mean, I kind of wish it could stay like this, because this is really nice. Granted, I normally don't like water levels in games, or swimming, but I think I made a comment. It might have been in a, a failed episode, but I like the water mechanics in this game, because they're like, they're almost like a a dumbed down version of Majora's Mask. Masks, um, water mechanics. The woods have been flooded. Or should I, I should do that with an underwater with my underwater voice. And I believe I haven't had Fee bio them yet, and I will at the soon stop opportunity, but I believe those are called um Labellas, I think. 
I could be wrong, but I think they're called labellas. So anyway, so we're supposed to head up to the top, so let's do that. I mean, before, it's really neat, because before, we stood right down there. I'm going to swim down. Well, anyway, we, s we stood right up there. Maybe 20 episodes ago? I don't know. Maybe 10? We stood right here, and we hopped our way across platforms, and now this entire forest is flooded. Really neat. Come on. Back. Back pedal. There we go. Could you guys, did you guys like that? That's my underwater voice. Just wanted to tell you. Hey, Raider. The current is pretty strong right here. If you're heading outside, the girl club club. Okay, I'm gonna stop my underwater voice because my underwater voice honestly stinks. So let's swim up. There's not really much to say. Just we're swimming up. Except I could sing a song like I did last episode, but we're already out, so it doesn't matter. Let's talk to him. It's a human. The current is strong past this point. It's too swift for a human like you to swim through. So you better use the exit over there. Okay. Let's use the exit over there. Magically, we're walking... Well, not magically, but we're walking the other direction now. We're pacing. And we see... It's Georg, guys. It's Georg. We're gonna have to fight Georg. Not gonna reuse that joke, but seriously, it's like Georg. Who dares even dip it to who dares to dip it even a toe in my waters without my leave? Oh, I remember you. You're the young human who helped me recover from my injuries some time ago. Ah, uh, Link, was it? Let's have a look at you. Yes, you seem a good deal stronger than the last time we met. And look at that sword. You're the real thing, boy. It's clear you have the spirit of the hero of the, go of the goddess. Let me guess. You swam all the way here to try to get me to teach you the part of the song of the hero the goddess entrusted to me. That's all well and good, but I can't go around giving so away something that precious to every hero who flounders about in my waters. No. I think a final test is in order to ensure you are, in fact, the one meant to hear this melody of mine. This may be news to you, but some very irksome monsters have been overrunning my woods of late. Well, I decided that I'd had enough. The easiest way to deal with the awful things was to, was to flood the whole woods. As it happens, almost every inch of the greenery in the area is submerged. So it's here, in this flooded land that I will test you. If you're up to com completing the, ca the task I ask of you, I see no reason why I shouldn't reward you with the melody you seek. She will use her spirit bomb, and what is she doing with it? She'll send something into all the all of the water surrounding us. But what? We don't really see. We just see some flashes of light. As you just saw, I have split the melody you seek among my many tad tones, and I have hidden them around the forest. If you haven't already guessed, Link, here's your task. Take this score and collect my little musical friends out there. You can use that, f that score to figure out how many tadstones are in each group. Find them, collect them, and bring them back to me. If you can do that, well, then I'll just have to see you as someone worthy of learning the song of the hero. You guys can probably already see that this is going to be a long episode. And now, oh, I think Fee's going to say something. No, she's not. Okay, now it's here that I will tell you what exactly I got.
what exactly I upgraded last episode and how useful it is. I got an air potion plus. The air potion, I'm going to take this off, the air potion allows us to breathe for a longer time underwater. Now the air potion plus allows us to breathe indefinitely underwater for a certain amount of time. So basically, we do not run out of air at all. Now, I have the potion metal equipped, at least I should, and I do. So this will last for a full nine minutes, so we will not have to come up for air for nine minutes. So, first, I actually want to take out these Bokoblins. Because they bugged me last time. I don't want that to be a trend. Ah, there we go. They never even saw us. Oh, there's one more. Well, we'll kill him. It's We can take him out with the sword. Okay, so... Basically, we just have to swim all about these woods. Also, what? Did you see that? He, like... We hit his sword and he reeled back. Can we collect that? Yeah, we can. Is that, like, an ability of the master, of the true master sword to make Bokoblins reel back from us hitting them their sword? Because that's really cool. Anyway, so, there is a labella that we can bio to see if they're truly called la ow, labellas. And let's see. Come on, there we go, talk. Hey, are you collecting tadstones? Yep, also you notice that, that I called them tadstones, and I'll, get, I'll address that in a second. I'll let you in on a secret then. Some tadstones hang out in group groups. You have to collect similar tad tones, right, one right after another, or they'll s swim out of your score. If you want to catch a bunch at once, use a skin, uh, spin maneuver to draw in nearby tad tones. That's your best bet. My mouse is not working. Sorry about that, my mouse stopped working. Aside from that, it's really just a matter of keeping at it. Okay? So let's bio you. This is a Perella. Okay, not Labella. Perella. I got some of the consonants mixed up. A Perella. An aquatic race. They they typically move in groups. They serve the water dragon, Pharon. Or Pharon, or Pharon, or Pharon. Anyway. So I called them... No. Really. I don't... I don't care. You said that already. Thank you. So, Tadtones. I called them Tadstones because that's really what I call them normally. Also, my potion. I call them Tadstones just because I think it sounds better. I like the sound of it. So anyway, um, I'm going to get to what Tadtones are. Um, Tadtones look like, like you saw, uh, like tadpoles, and also they're kind of a play off that word. And also Tadtones, you know, musical note, and tadpole. So it's kind of a, a pun, but... What's more of a pun is their Japanese name. First of all, um, worth noting is that they resemble the Zora Hatchlings that were in Majora's Mask. For those of you who didn't play it, you have to basically rescue these, like, Zor nine or four or three Zora Hatchlings. And what they'll do is they will form musical notes to teach you a song. Now, you'll notice a similarity here. The tad tones here are musical notes, and we're getting them to form a song. And what that is a pun off of is they're a visual pun, so like a visual, um, you know, they're, they're tadpoles and also musical notes. They are also um, a pun off their name, which I'm going to butcher this pronunciation, but it is Otamajakushi. Otamajakushi. Actually, I did very well on that. It means tadpole, but it also, the same word, no spelling differences, the same word, otama jakushi, means musical note. So it's a, it's a neat pun. So anyway, oh, anyway, let's, I've been stalling long enough, longer than I wanted to. Let's go ahead and grab an air potion plus. And let's go ahead and enjoy our unlimited air. And I see some tad tones down there. Now, my strategy, let me grab my map here. My strategy is to partition off certain parts of Pharon Woods. So I'm gonna No. Oh, let me take these ones down. Also, excuse me, excuse me. 
I drank a soda, so I burp. Sorry. <laughs> I try not to do that during recordings, but I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> uh, embarrassing. Anyway, what I do is I partition off half of Farron Woods, and I basically search for everything on this side, then I search for everything on this side, and that way I don't end up searching the same place twice. Though I will do that even with my system, so don't sue me. Now, what I should te mention, which I just accidentally showed, it showed, yeah, showed, is that if you go for too long without collecting the last one of a musical score, they will all out leave your score. And also, those spines are jerkish, those burrs. So anyway, they will leave your score if you go too long without collecting them. Once you collect them in your score, however, they will stay there for good. So, there is no need to rush. And we actually grabbed two there, which we're going to lose. Simply because they're too far away to grab. So just spin, and you can collect them all very easily. Now, I think there might be another one up here. Now, you cannot go to Lake Floria. Actually, I have a question. If I look down there... Okay, so that is underwater. They, there's no graphical glitch or anything they forgot. You cannot cross this barrier. It's very similar to Major uh, Wind Waker, where there's like a barrier, so... Just thought I should say, say that. Now, floating around here are also little fish, which you'll see... Get off me. Are little fish that look like tad tones. Like, you see that flash of color right there? You immediately think they're tad tones, so... Those can be very con those can be confusing at times. And an easy way to to differentiate differentiate the uh, two, the fish and the tadtones, is to look at how they move. Tadtones usually don't swirl around, and they don't go in like complex patterns. And if you see small ones, they're going to be in lines always. But there are big ones that will always be alone. So, you can kind of tell the fish the, the fish from the tadstones in, with that way. There's a line of tadstones here. We'll go ahead and round them up. Also, there's an amber relic, which I didn't know was there. It's randomly generated, so it's probably not going to be on your file. Let's go ahead and grab these. They're hiding in the grass. There's another one over there. And just keep spinning, and you'll grab them. Now, there's our barrier, and also there's... Now, there are groups that will move around. They're, they'll be in groups of, like, four or five. But, also, there there are collections that just stay in a line. There, there he is. Okay. And, these fish will show up. These dopey-looking fish. I forgot what they're called. Hey, Link, some nasty fish seem to have swam their way into the flooded woods. I'd hate to bump into those things underwater. Q, Watch your toes. Okay, so... If you go too high up above the land, they'll spot you and chase after you. Simple as that. Now, I'm actually... I wanted to talk to that Perella, because I do not want to skip what they have to say. What do you have to say? If you don't collect tadstones of the same color one right after another, they'll wriggle out of your score. Don't work yourself into a panic. Okay, so he basically just says what I just explained, but it's still useful. I actually should have read that, what he said, instead of me explaining it. Now, I'm not sure, this is kind of a theory of mine, but you will, I believe you'll see purple tad tones next to um, this poisonous, these poisonous bubbles, which will make you lose air. So, you, you want to avoid that, unless you have a potion like mine. And this is also the longest line we'll have to deal with. It just keeps going on and on. And there's the other one, and grab him. What do you have to say? The pretty bubbles are poisonous. Be careful. If you breathe it one in, you'll choke. Okay, so they just... I should talk to these guys instead of explaining things myself. In fact, we're going to do just that with this Perella over here. We have, we have not talked to him. Tadtones store oxygen in their bodies, so when you catch one, it will restore some of your air. Your air. 
That's something I was also going to say, which is very helpful. Thank you, Mr. Perella. Or Miss. I can't really tell. They will restore some of your air, which is very useful. What do you have to say? You can catch those rogue tad tones with a spin. You can pull them towards you so you can grab so you can grab them. Oh. But I guess you humans use up air when you do that, so don't go overboard. So yeah, he'll give us a hint on that. Which when he says rogue tad tones, he means those guys. See that big one over there? That one will run away and it's intelligent, so watch. When we approach it, it will run away and it's actually a little bit hard to catch. Just cut off the pass though and you should be fine. Also, there's a goddess cube, which we're going to get l next episode. There's another rogue tad tone. It's a red one. I don't think that the color differi differentiates difficulty. I think it's just a neat feature. Also, I have left my... I have left my border because I don't think there are any left in there. I could be wrong, but... I, I think I'm right. Oh, I saw some sha I saw a shadow. I think I saw one. Where are they? There they are. I saw a bunch of little shadows. Q, Link, can you hear me? How can we hear him from there, man? He must either have a really good voice or we have really good ears. I thought up something good. Why don't you come and chat with me for a moment? Q. Okay, so we'll drop everything and chat with him. We'll see, because I'm trying to push talking to the NPCs. You should really do that in games. You shouldn't just try to do it yourself. The NPCs are there for a reason, so you should listen to them once in a while. So let's go ahead and avoid that guy. And jump up. He is not here. Where is he? There you are. Hey, buddy. There he is, and jump. And land right where we needed to. That was... Very precise and accurate. Q! How nice to see you again, Link. How goes the Tad Tone Gathering? I'd actually thought of something you might be interested to know. You see, it's like... Hmm. How should I explain this? Q! Uh, just one word right after another? There was a technique used when searching for the others of my tribe, remember? That! Use that thing you do, Q, and you'll, ha you'll have a much easier time getting those Tad Tones. Signs indicate this is a reference to your dousing ability. It is a valid suggestion, Master. I am familiar with the unique aura signatures of Tad Tones. Thank you, Fee. I will calibrate your dousing ability to locate Tad Tones. This capability should prove to be quite useful in your search. However, please note that you cannot use your dousing ability underwater. Okay. So, can we thank him? Yes, yes. That's it, dousing. Use your dousing ability and you'll find the rest of those tad tones in no time flat. Or is it sharp? Ahem, Q, that's a pun. That's a very smart pun. That's a good pun too. Good job, you did, you did good job. Okay, let's use our dousing ability to see if there are any others in our area. Seem to be some over there, but I believe those are outside. Yeah, they're outside. So there seems to be one in that tree, and some over there. So let's get the one in the tree first. And I think our potion is almost run out. We probably only have a minute or two left on it, if that. Which is good, because I really didn't want this whole episode to be used under the influence of a potion, because it's a little bit cheap. I mean, it's not really how the, design the game designers intended it. And we have a rogue in here. Let's take a look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. Look at him. He's so cute. Wait, can we... Aww. He's scared. He's running for his life. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. There you go. Come on. There you go. Good boy. You're a good friend. Okay, uh... And also, the reason why I wanted to use the air potion is because, really, logically, this is the only time in the game that it's going to be useful to us. There aren't any other times where, where we are 100 or 200 feet underwater. Also, I see you up there. We're 100 or 200 feet underwater. And 
so I'd like to show off its usefulness, because it is useful. It just isn't useful for most of the game. But when we need it, it comes in very handy. The ferocious fish are back! Or, sorry. The ferocious fi fish are back! Swim for your life! They can't follow you if you dive deep. Deep, bro, deep. And he's right. They cannot follow you when you're this far down. I don't know why. Maybe they, th maybe they would get caught up in the trees. So these... This score is very spread out, and you might have a slightly hard time dealing with it, especially if you don't go in the the circle like you should, like I did. So, the rest of the Tad Tones, or Tad Stones, I just like that name better, are across our barrier. Oh, and there's also an Amber Relic right here. So let's grab that. Man, I was eating dinner tonight. Just a random story, because I have not really told many personal stories. Or not personal, rather, but... Me stories. Uh, what I was going to say is... I'm trying to find those tad tones. Uh, I was eating dinner, right? I was watching Survivor, the season finale. I won't spoil who won, in case you haven't seen it yet. But anyway, I was watching the Survivor season finale, and... I was eating... What was I eating? <laughs> what was I eating for dinner? Um, uh, like fries and, oh, and one of my favorite foods ever, um, vinegar cucumbers, which are, I'll go into in a second. Another story of mine. Anyway, those vinegar cucumbers, they're really good, but anyway, I was eating, and there goes our potion. I was eating, and I suddenly felt like a weird pinching sensation. Ow. And I, like, went to get another bite, and in my lip, I'm feeling it out with my tongue right now, in my lip, I, uh, it was stuck to my braces. Yes, I wear braces. I have braces. It was stuck to my braces, and man, it didn't hurt, but it just felt uncomfortable. And what had happened, hopefully I won't run out of air. Actually, I'll, real quick, I'll skip my, st I'll pause my story. If you make any of these spiky things explode, you're in for a world of hurt. They're like bombs. So actually, that will hint, give us a hint that we should blow up that rock wall here. Because inside, you can barely see, if you go up here, you can barely see, where is it? That there's like a green thing inside. Can't see it from this angle, but there is like a green thing inside. So you blow it up. Oh, you can see the green thing there. We have to wait for the bomb guy to respawn. <sighs> there he is, okay. So, we hit him, miss him, completely. We're going to need air desperately. Come on, turn around. Turn around, Link. Come on, buddy. Hit it. Yes, finally. Okay, we'll scare out that road tad tone. And I can continue with my story after I grab this bubble and the tad tone. Okay, so... What I, I had, um... What it was is my braces, there are these... In case you don't know, there are these little posts in my brace in braces that allow the orthodontist to attach a rubber band in order to, you know, shape your the layout of your teeth. And what happened? This is kind of gross and kind of disturbing, but I'm telling it anyway. <laughs> what had happened is my the post one of the posts had actually like stabbed through my lip. Not completely through, but far enough where, like, it was literally stuck in my lip. Um, it didn't hurt, like, at all. Hardly at all. But it was stabbed in my lip, and it's really uncomfortable, and it's hurting a tiny bit now. I, I told that huge story just to say that I had a lip piercing. <laughs> but again, it's not completely through, so it's not really a lip, lip piercing. Let's kill you, because you're not my friend. The tad tadstones or tad tones are my friends. So yeah, my lip was pierced, and it's really weird because whenever I ch I would like unpierce it, and like I would chew, and it would pierce it again. Anyway, I'm probably grossing a lot of you out, and I'm star I'm sorry. I don't know why I, I, that came over me. Tell, but eh. Anyway. Yes, yes. Oh, we shouldn't talk to you. Sorry, I, I'm just coming up here to douse. Okay, it looks like we have one Tad Tone left. 
and it's not anywhere here. This is the last ta tone that I've gotten in all of my playthroughs, straight through there. Now what you're supposed to do is swim over here, and while I do that, I can tell you another story! And that is the story of Vinegar Cucumbers. They are delicious. I'll, d I'll make this one short. Vinegar Cucumbers are... Basically what they are, are cucumbers with that are basically soaked, sl they're sliced up, and soaked in red red wine vinegar, I believe, and you put pepper in it, pepper in the vinegar, and also, um, like, a certain amount of oil, and it's really good. What, what we like to do is, like, we like to cut out the seeds, because I don't like the seeds, I'm kind of picky, but I don't like the seeds, so we cut those out, but they're really, really good. You know, they're nutri nutritious as well, because they're cucumbers. Probably one of my favorite foods. Fun fact. Now, we can climb all the way up the tree, but that's actually not what we want to do, unless you want to get... Never mind, there are no... There are no beetles there. But what you want to do is very... Well, not very early in the game, but earlier in the game, we saw these blessed butterflies here on this lookout, this plateau. And, well, it is a great view... The camera pans down to see show a lily pad. Now let's look at the the dowsing. It is inside the lily pad. What there is is there is a tad tone stuck inside the lily pad. So we're going to flip it over and try to free the last tad tone. I actually got stumped on this for a long time till I finally finally figured it out. So let's jump and get the last one, little rogue. Come on, buddy. Okay. Come on, buddy. Whoa. Get away from me. I'm going to kill him first because he's annoying me. Kill him. No. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Where's the tattoo? There he is. Hey, little buddy. Hey, friend. Aw. Look at the little pattern on his back. Look at him. Aw. Oh, this... Did the fish scare him or did we... Did we... Okay, so let's let's go ahead and grab him. Come on, buddy. There he is, the last tadstone. And with that, We have a beautiful little melody, and we've gotten all of them. Oh, Link, you've gathered all the tad tones, haven't you? That is, that's no small feat. Or shall I say, that's no small be beat. Q! Man, you with the puns today. You're on... <gasps> I guess you could say, he's on a roll. <laughs> oh, man, he and I, we're buddies forever. Or pals, mind you. Okay, with that, let's go see the water dragon and get the song of the hero. Now, will she sing it herself? Or will she just give us a slip of paper? You can find out this episode. You guys were probably like, oh, but no, I'm I'm not that mean. I'll I'll show you. Because why would I stop here? Also. Ooh, I just thought of something. Oh yeah. You guys are gonna like this. Pharon, guardian of the Floria region. We've collected all of your tad tones. Fulfill your end of the deal. Give us your part of the song of the hero. Ah, you brought back all of my color colorful little tad tones. You are indeed worthy of being called a hero. This much is clear. I'm good for my word, so I will teach you my part of the song you seek.
You learned part of the Song of the Hero. Originally, I had planned to keep the, these woods underwater so that those awful monsters would never return. But your task is far from over, and you're not exactly at home in the water. I suppose I'll return the woods to their natural state. All this excitement has been rather draining. I believe I'll retire to my hall. You'd, you'd best be on your way as well. And with that, it was really that easy, she lowers the water for us. There is no evil behind this flooding, which you'd actually think there might be, but flooding is actually a very good way of getting rid of enemies, and it worked. Well, not those pe pesky quadrobabas, but the other enemies. We won't have to deal with any of those moblins anymore. So, oh, fee, hi. It is a- yes, as I suspected, the water level in Faron Woods has dropped. The forest has returned to its former, less aquatic state. Master, the melody you just acquired is one part of the Song of the Hero. I recommend you seek out the other two dragons in their respective areas to learn the other two parts of the song. Thank you, Fee, and we... Well, we're not going to be doing that next episode. We're going to be getting the last of the secrets located in uh, Faron Woods. And I I surprised you last time with this, but I'm not going to surprise you this time. Or maybe you're going to be surprised when I tell you. But next episode, I'm very happy to announce, is a Pal's Play episode. Yes, Ryan is coming back. And he's going to be on again, on here again, next episode. So, we are going to be getting his help in finding these collectibles. And, I don't know, maybe I'll let him control Link next episode. Maybe. I'll, I'll think about it. But yeah, next time, Ryan will be here. Also, I, I meant to end the episode on that note. However, can we talk to you? Kick wee! We haven't talked to you in a long time. You, I told you to keep quiet about our conversation. When the water dragon flooded the forest, I was sure she was going to eat me like a dinner salad. Still, the flood isn't so bad, is it? The water's flushed out most of the monsters. The woods are, are quite peaceful, really. I'll be here napping if you need some of my elder wisdom. See you around, quirk. So, next time on Pal's Play Skyward Sword, we're going to be, be getting the last of the collectibles within Farron Woods and whatever side quests else we need. I'll see you guys next episode.